Hello traders, hope you are doing well. A lot of students in our YouTube comment section had requested us to make a video on option chain analysis. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you all the important concepts related to option chain in detail. If you watch this video with complete focus and attention, I'm very sure that you will be able to read option chain data very easily. It does not matter which option strategy you are using right now. If you just follow what is thought in this video, you will be able to plan your entries and mark important support and resistance level on a chart within just two minutes. I will teach you one trick by the end of this video through which within two minutes you can analyze option chain. Okay. Now since I want this video to be useful for everyone who trades in option, there will be some basic topics which I'll be discussing today. If I do not discuss these basic topics here, it might be very difficult for beginners to completely understand option chain in detail. I want you to watch this video without skipping. Do not worry about the length of this video because each and every topic discussed here is very important. I can confidently tell you that this video is more than enough for you to understand option chain. You don't have to go and start looking for different videos after this. Okay. Now without any further delay, let us get into today's topic. Traders, to check option chain data, just go to Google and search for option chain NSE. If you click here, you will be taken to this page. Now this page contains option chain data of Nifty bank nifty and all the stocks that are there in futures and option segments if you are an option trader it becomes very important for you to learn how to read this data while trading top level traders financial institution with huge capital refer to this data to analyze the current market sentiment now a lot of beginners find it very difficult to read option chain data right traders don't worry by end of this video, you will learn what is option chain, what are all these values that are there in option chain and how to mark important support and resistance level on a chart using this data. Alright, now first we will see what are these values in option chain and we will try to understand how to use this information to improve our trading. Okay, now currently what you're seeing is the option chain data of Nifty. Alright, if you want to check bank nifty option chain data just click here and select bank nifty so this is bank nifty option chain data apart from nifty and bank nifty if you want to check option chain data for any stock which is listed in future and option segment just click here here you will get the list of all the stocks which is listed all right now for example if i choose asian paints from this list you get option chain data of asian paints all right. Now the next thing after this we have is expiry. If I click here, you can see there are three expiries. Now traders, because I've selected Asian paint, which is a stock, all stocks will have monthly expiry. Okay. So 30th September is the current expiry. 28th October is next month expiry and 25th November is far month expiry. For all stocks, the last Thursday of the month, will be the expiry day okay so if i just go to calendar now for the month of september if i check the last thursday of the month that is 30th of september is the expiry date and for the month of october 28th october is the expiry date even that is on thursday and far month expiry which is november 25th november will be the expiry date right if you see same values you are getting now what if the last thursday of the month is a holiday at that time the one day before Wednesday will be the expiry date. Okay. But instead of stocks, if I choose Nifty or Bank Nifty, for example, and here click on expiry, I will have more number of expiry dates because for Nifty and Bank Nifty, we not only have monthly expiry, we will have expiry every Thursday. Right. See 2nd September, 9th September, 16th September, 2nd September, 9th September, 16th September. So Thursdays will be the expiry date. So stocks will have monthly expiry. Nifty and bank Nifty will have weekly expiry as well as monthly expiry. Now the next option we have is strike price, but we will not use strike price. Okay. Because we want to check how the market is responding at all strike prices. Okay. So we will not choose a particular strike price. Traders, as of now, we have just gone through this data. 
Now, if you scroll down, there are different values here, right? All these values. On the left hand side, we have call option values and on the right hand side, we have put option values. Okay. If you see here, we have open interest, change in open interest, volume, IV, last traded price, change, bid quantity, bid price, ask price, ask quantity. Then we have strike price. If you check on the put side, we have the same values which is there on the call side. See, open interest, open interest, change in open interest, change in open interest. So, if you just understand the call side values, okay, what is the meaning of all this, then it will be very easy for you to understand the put side because both are one and the same, right? Now, let's take Nifty as an example and understand its option chain data, okay? Now, Nifty is currently trading at 16,705, okay? Now, just try to understand this. Not all option buyers want to buy Nifty at this price, right? Not all option sellers would like to sell nifty at this price correct that is why we have something called strike price so in the strike price section we will have different price levels of nifty okay if you see here 14,150, 14,200, 14,250 like this we will have different strike prices all right so in different nifty price levels there will be a lot of contracts exchanged between the buyers and the sellers okay there'll be new contracts building up at different levels of nifty strike price at different point of time this is because the market sentiment keeps changing for example nifty is currently trading at 16705 okay a call option seller might think nifty will not cross above 16800 level okay so at that time he will come here and he will check where is 16,800 level, okay? So he is thinking Nifty will not cross above this. So what he will do? He will come here at this strike price. He will sell a call option, all right? And some people might think Nifty will not cross 17,000 level. So they will come to Nifty 17,000 level and here they will sell a call option. Likewise, a call option buyer if he thinks nifty will cross above 16700 level he will come here and he will buy a call option thinking that the market will go up from this level so in different price levels we will have different kind of contracts building up each time depending on the market condition the market sentiment will keep changing all right now traders if you're trading in options it is very important that you know about in the money at the money and out of the money options i will try to explain this concept to you as simple as possible with an example okay as of today nifty is currently trading at 16700 range now in the option chain chart on the left side we will have call option data and on the right side we will have put option data all the strike prices below 16700 are considered to be in the money call option for example 16650 16600 16550 all these strike prices are below the current trading price of nifty right so these strike prices are considered as in the money call options okay now on the put side all the strike price above 16700 is considered as in the money put options so 16750 16800 16850 all these strike prices are considered as in the money put options okay traders i hope you have understood till here simple right now all strike prices above 16700 on the call side are considered as out of the money call options Similarly, all strike price below 16,700 on the put side are considered as out of the money put options. Okay. Now the 16,700 which is the current trading price of Nifty is considered to be at the money call option for both call side as well as put side. Okay. In this Nifty option chain chart on the left side that is the call side. Can you see this beige color from here? till here so this is to represent in the money call option okay whatever is there in this beige color is in the money when it comes to 
call options. Now on the put side, in the money call option, it's been highlighted in beige color here. Okay. Now out of the money call option is highlighted in white and out of the money put option is highlighted in white. Now the main purpose I discussed about in the money, at the money and out of the money is because it's a part of option chain data. Since we are discussing about the content of option chain, I have just given you an overview about what is in the money, at the money and out of the money. We will not be discussing this topic in detail today because the length of this video will increase. Now let's go back and discuss about other important values which are there in option chain data. In the strike price section, if I scroll down to 16,700 level, Nifty is currently trading at what level? So it's trading between 16,700 and 16,750. Within this range, the Nifty is currently trading. Now at this price, a lot of people might think about selling a call option, right? If they are selling, they have to sell at a price, right? So here you can see ask price. This ask price means the sellers are ready to sell a call option at this price, okay? Now the sellers are ready to sell at 88 rupees premium, okay? This is the selling price. The sellers are asking so much amount. Now we have something called ask quantity. Ask quantity means how many lots of nifty are there for sale at this price. We have 50 lots of nifty ready to be sold at 88 rupees premium. Now a seller can decide at what price he wants to sell. Likewise even the buyers will have a fixed price in their mind right. So a buyer if he wants to buy a call option you have to check here that is bid price bid means buyer is saying i'm ready to pay so much price now the buyer is ready to pay 87 rupees premium okay i think now you can see it better so seller is selling for 88 and buyer is asking for 87 now here we have bid quantity so the bid quantity is 1050 and a lot of people are ready to buy it at 87 rupees premium okay so as of now you understood what is ask price and what is bid price right ask price means the seller what price he wants to sell bid price means the buyer at what price he wants to buy okay this is bid quantity and this is ask quantity now the next thing we have here is last traded price that means what was the last price at which the buyer and seller agreed to enter a contract that last trade price at 16,700 level was 87 rupees premium okay so the buyer bought at 87 and seller sold at 87 so this last trade price it keeps changing it keeps increasing or decreasing depending on the market condition okay so next to that can you see this 24.40 here it says change if it is in green it means the last trade price has increased compared to the before traded price okay for example here what it says 87 rupees was last trade price right so 87 from this if you minus this 24.40 24.40 it comes close to 62 rupees right so before this 87 rupees the last trade price was 62 rupees okay now why has this price increased because the demand for 16700 option has increased lot of people are buying when more people are buying the demand increases when demand increases the price also increase okay so if you see little lower at 17100 17150 here it is just trading at 2 rupees 75 paisa not only that previously the last trade price was more but it is reduced because a lot of buyers and sellers are not showing interest at this level since nifty is currently at 16700 to 16750 level a lot of people are trying to buy call option and sell call options at this level okay so this is last trade price and change in price now the next thing we have is iv what is iv iv means implied volatility now this implied volatility level increases generally in bearish market when an investor believes equity price will decline over time the iv decreases when the market is 
bullish okay this is just a small overview of iv if i have to speak about iv in detail i would have to make a separate video on that so in simple terms just think like iv helps us to understand the volatility of the market okay now let's just have a recap we took 16700 strike price now at this level sellers were ready to sell at 88 rupees buyers were ready to buy at 87 rupees the selling quantity was so much and the buying quantity was so much and the last traded price was 87 rupees okay iv is 9.18 now here we have something called volume volume means the total number of contracts which has been exchanged okay from the start time of this expiry this fresh expiry when did it start it started on thursday from thursday the volume of call option bought and sold is 13,75,732 that is very huge volume right how is volume calculated if someone is selling one lot of nifty another person is buying one lot of nifty when there is a match at that time the volume will increase by one right how much ever like this multiples of nifty buying and selling gets matched that volume will keep increasing okay the volume will not decrease all right so this is about volume now the last two things is open interest and change in open interest now in this entire option chain analysis open interest and change in open interest is one of the most important thing you would have to know okay if you understand what is open interest and change in open interest this entire concept of option chain analysis will become very easy for you to understand now by the end of this video i'll be teaching you how to use open interest and change in open interest and easily find important support and resistance level on a chart in just two minutes let us take one example to understand it better once the example is done i'll bring you back here and I will show you how to analyze the market using this data. All right. Traders in the stock market, there are two participants. One is the buyer, other one is a seller. Now just imagine that you are an option buyer and I am an option seller. Now for the sake of this example, let's say apart from you and I, there are no other traders. Okay. Only you and I are there in the market. All right. Now let's say you want to buy 10 lots of Nifty. All right and i want to sell 10 lots of nifty okay when you and i place an order there is a match right a buyer seller match at that time open interest will become 10 okay it does not become 20 one buy plus one sell is equal to one open interest all right and when it comes to volume now volume will be 10 okay here only I would like to clarify one open interest means one match between the buyer and seller for one lot. Okay. Now at this point of time change in open interest will be zero. Okay. Because this is the first time trade is happening between us. Right. Now let's say after this market is going up and you are in profit and you decide to exit from six lots out of the 10 lots of 50 that you have. Okay. And me being option seller, because the market is going up, I'm losing money. I want to buy six lots of Nifty. That means I'm squaring off the position. Now, when we both place an order, there is a match, right? So the entry will get triggered. Now, at that time, open interest will become four. Okay. Because out of this 10 buy and 10 sell order, we both placed at the beginning, you exited from six lots. And even I exited from six slots, right? Now, how many open contracts are there? We have four open contracts. So, open interest will be four. Now, change in open interest will be minus six. Minus six because when we both exited from our position, from six slot position, there is no contract anymore, right? So, number of open contracts, that means open interest contracts, will reduce by six so change in open interest will be minus six and volume will be 16 traders volume will keep increasing as the number of orders increase okay volume will never go into minus right now let's say by the end of the day you want to sell your balance for lot of nifty and exit from all the position and even i want to exit from all the four lot of sell position which i had of nifty 
okay when we both place an order open interest will become zero because both squared off our position right so there is no open contract so there is no more open interest change in open interest will become minus 10 minus 10 because from beginning of the day there was 10 open interest everything got closed by end of the day it went to negative and volume will be 20 okay this is how open interest volume and change in open interest is calculated i have just taken two offers as an example but in the live market there will be huge number of orders placed by lot of traders right as and when a buyer and seller place an order open interest will be created and when traders exit from the position open interest keeps reducing so in this change in open interest section shows if the open interest has increased or decreased from the previous trading session here you can see change in open interest is in minus right this means a lot of them who initially showed interest at that particular strike price level they're no more interested okay so a lot of them has exited from this position that time change in open interest will go to minus all right i hope you have understood this just an overview now i'll take you to option chain and there let's just try to understand okay now traders what you're seeing here is nifty option chain data i'm looking at this data on 30th of august okay now the next expiry date is 2nd september that is this thursday we have the expiry date now on the call side let's check where do we have highest number of open interest okay so if i go to open interest section if i scroll down see the highest number of open interest is 93400 now at what level we have this open interest contracts we have this at 17,000 strike price level so at 17,000 strike price level there is 93,403 lots of nifty contract opened okay so buyers have bought the contracts sellers have sold the contracts now out of this 93,000 400 open interest contract 23,000 contracts has been created this trading session that means on Monday on Friday open interest contract was less but just one day on this Monday 23,000 new contracts people have entered okay so that means the 17,000 strike price level a lot of traders have built their contract right see change in open interest is 23,000 now traders here in itself i will show one more thing just watch closely if you see this open interest we have 43000 right at what strike price level at 16800 strike price level now compared to friday today 16000 people have exited from this contract you can see minus 16000 that means on friday lot of people were showing interest here close to 60000 out of that 60000 contract 16000 contract people exited today that means lot of people are feeling this 16800 level is no more an important level in this 93000 level 23000 new contract has been built that means more people are thinking this level that is 17000 strike price level is more important than 16800 level okay so if i just go to nifty where do we have 17000 strike price this is 17000 level right let me highlight this level we'll draw a line here okay now if i come back to option chain let's see what is the important level on the put side okay now if i go to open interest section where do we have highest number of open interest now the highest number of open interest we have is 90,518 after this we have 90,060 but more than this this is more right at what strike price level 16,700 strike price level now at this level we have 90,000 open contract between the buyers and sellers now out of this compared to friday this was somewhere around 60,000 but today alone by the end of monday 30,000 new contracts has been created that means more people have entered the 16,700 strike price level within one trading day 30,000 new people have entered this contract so highest number of open interest we have at 16,700 strike price level so according to put option buyers and sellers this level this level is a very important level so if i go back to chart 16,000 700 so 16700 level i will mark now as of now in nifty these two levels have become one of the most important levels as per option chain 
okay now let's go back to option chain now traders i'm going to tell you very important point right now so please listen very carefully okay now whenever you are checking option chain data you have to always look at it at option sellers point of view okay now why should we look at option sellers point of view reason number one option sellers are more powerful than option buyers they have huge capital like this financial institution high net worth individual, H&I people, most of them prefer option selling and they have huge capital. Traders tell me to sell one lot of call option of Nifty, it will cost 1 lakh 50, 60,000, right? For a lot of people, they don't even have that much capital in their trading account, right? Most of the retailers, they don't have. Retail traders prefer option buying because they can do trading with just 10,000, 15,000, 20,000. Since retail traders have very less capital, they mainly prefer option buying but this high net worth individual they prefer option selling compared to option buying now why do people with huge capital prefer option selling compared to option buying we will understand that with an example now traders sometime back i mark these two levels right we will take this as an example to understand the difference between option buyer and option seller when do an option buyer makes money he makes money when his prediction is correct if a person is buying a call option what does it mean it means is expecting the market to go up correct now a call option buyer makes profit only when the market goes up all right but a call option seller will make money in two ways now let's say a call option seller thinks this is a very important level 17000 level okay now when does he make money he will make money if nifty does not cross this level if it goes down like this he will make profit and he will make profit even if the market just stays within this range by the time of expiry an option seller will make money if the market goes down or if the market stays sideways but a call option buyer will make profit only when the market goes up since there is two-way profit when trading in option selling and out of 20 trading days most of the time the market stays sideways right so when market stays sideways most of the time there is high probability for option sellers to make profit compared to option buyers now if i go back to this option chain chart the highest open interest on the call side we have 93400 at what strike price 17000 strike price here buyers have bought contract sellers also have sold contract but the sellers are more powerful than buyers because their capital investment is comparatively very large than option buyers who has more capital big big institution financial people and all those now if these financial institution people have sold call option at 17000 level don't you think they will put all their effort to make sure the market will stay below this level or stay sideways they will do right since option sellers are this big big clients even if let's say nifty goes little more high at this level what they will do they will exit from the 17000 level and go back and sell a call option higher than 17000 level whatever they feel as the next important levels same way put option buyer also requires very less capital most of us will be this retail traders with less capital, right? When do put option buyers make profit? Only when the nifty falls down, right? But a put option seller makes profit two ways. Let's say according to a put option seller, 16,700 is an important level. So he sold put option at this level. Now, if nifty goes above this level, a put option seller will be in profit and even if nifty stays within this range he will make profit he will lose money only when nifty goes below this range rapid movement so call option seller put option sellers have better advantage compared to option buyers that is why most of the high net worth individual big big players prefer option selling over option buying this is one thing now traders there's one more reason why we need to always look at option chain in sellers point of view see this option buyers most of us are retail traders we are not connected with each other right so we take a trade position as per our wish but this big big players they're all connected with each other so these big people decide the important level of the market okay see if you see here the 17000 strike price level has the highest number of open interest right so if you are looking at the market in sellers point of view i'll go back to this nifty chart where is 17000 yeah 
the 17,000 we need to consider this level as resistance okay because option seller will make money only when the market do not break this level so they will do whatever possible to hold this level okay now on the put side the highest number of open interest we have is 90,500 so that is at 16,700 range so I go back to this chart where is 16,700 I'll be marking this level so this level will be the support level now option sellers goal is they want the market to stay within this range okay if the market stays within this range by the time of expiry they will make profit what will be their profit the profit will be this premium amount will be their profit okay so according to this option chain data 17,000 is an important level and up to here this is the range of the market the 17,000 to 16,700 range are the important levels which can act as support and resistance all right now one more thing a lot of people will look at this premium okay they will think this premium is comparatively less now at that time they have to see where we have next highest open interest below 93,000 where do we have highest number of open interest we have it at 66,000 but their returns is less apart from that we have 61,000 here we have 4,000 new contract built just today premium is also 99 at what strike price 16,900 strike price so if I go here instead of 17,000 I can bring down to 16,900 level as important resistance level now you can see market has broke this level new contract has been built it's broke but will it sustain doubtful right so at this point 17,000 has more probability win rate compared to 16,900 but still it's just Monday today we have Tuesday Wednesday Thursday the market can go down from here right now even on the put side 90,500 has 19 premium but this 90,060 has higher returns 35 rupees so what you can do just go back here instead of 16,700 bring it high to 16,800 so this range became too narrow but if the market stays within this range by the end of the expiry you will be in profit for sure right okay traders I hope you have understood how we use option chain data to understand important support and resistance level on a chart. Now this levels will keep changing as per the market sentiment. So for this call option, if 17,000 level is broken, then 17,100, 200, 250 can become important resistance level. And for put option traders, if 16,700 level is broken, 16,650, 16,600, can act as important levels always make sure you don't go and buy far out of the money options because the returns will be comparatively less now traders i have three more important points to tell you you need to remember this every time you look at option chain data okay number one if open interest is more change in open interest is in positive then it can act as a strong resistance level okay and on the put side open interest is more change in open interest is more then it can act as strong support level okay point number two if open interest is more for example here open interest is good but if change in open interest is in negative we will not consider that as important support or resistance level because more people have exited the contract so that might not act as strong support or resistance level okay change in open interest in positive then it can act as resistance if open interest is more but change in open interest is in negative then it might not act as resistance okay now one more thing if you're trading in nifty and bank nifty the expiry what you have to see is the current week expiry along with that the month end expiry data also you need to check when you compare weekly expiry as well as the current month expiry then you need to identify which strike price is the most suitable support and resistance level okay if you see monthly expiry also 17,000 has high number of open interest so we can consider 17,000 on the call side same thing for the put side also okay but if you're trading in stocks let's say Asian paints whatever stocks if you just look at monthly expiry the current month expiry it's more than enough but when you are in the last week of the month at that time next month expiry where and all contracts has opened that also you just have a look at it okay traders 
these were some of the important points if you just follow whatever i have thought in this video you can easily find support and resistance within just two minutes highest open interest value change in open interest is good then resistance on the put side open interest is high change in open interest is in positive then that can act as support very simple right if you just practice this for one week two weeks then easily you will not have any problem with option chain data you need not look at any other option chain videos also okay now traders it takes a lot of time for me to make such videos for you the main goal of this channel is to explain complicated topics as simple as possible which everybody can understand so explaining complicated things in a simple term takes more time okay so i hope you enjoyed this video if yes don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you think any of your friends will find this useful please share it with them now that's all for this video i'll see you in the next one